Hello everyone. Welcome to Real and Raw with Cameron Jewell. I like to share my ideas on videos and post them. All right, you don't have to agree with them. You don't have to like them. You don't even have to watch them. But for those of you who are here watching, thank you. All right. And then in this video, I want to talk about women being responsible for the nourishment of the nation. Okay. And uh, so let me, let me not to get too far ahead of myself. Call me old fashioned, but I do not believe that men and women were created equally. All right. I believe that men and women, they complement each other in the best of ways and that the union of a man and a woman creates the harmony that we need for a healthy functioning society. Okay. And before somebody goes and gets offended, like, okay, it can be a man and a man and a woman and a woman. All right. The essence of what I'm trying to say is that when two people come together and they offer different things to the relationship, that should ultimately make each one of them and the relationship strong and healthy. Okay. That is what differences are for. So we can come together and complement each other. In this video, I want to touch on the idea that women should be responsible for the nourishment of the nation. Right now, we have unprecedented numbers of disease and illness in this nation, and it's only getting worse. We are one of the sickest societies in all of the world. Okay, and there is a direct correlation of women entering the workforce, our food coming to us in boxes, and the decline of health in this country. Come here. Lay down. I'm only proposing an idea, okay, and something to think about because if something does not change, we will not have a healthy generation to leave behind. Our children are dying. Do you understand that? Each generation has more and more health problems. Our food is becoming more and more fake and processed. This is a problem. Hey, Oka, lay down. I know. Okay. I'm not even saying that it necessarily has to be women that have to be responsible for the nourishment of the nation. I'm talking about each family unit, right? Ideally, you have two adults raising the children. Which of the adult is going to be responsible for making sure that you have clean food to eat? Who's going to be responsible for preparing that clean food to eat? Who is going to be responsible for being able to afford that clean food to eat? These are things that we should be thinking about. Uh, I do believe that if women and men, if they stopped competing with each other and instead recognized and valued their differences and began to work with each other, we would see so many improvements in all areas of our own lives, our community, and the nation. It's very unfortunate that the corporations that are poisoning us are not being held accountable or reliable for what they are doing. I truly believe that if we the people take a stand, educate ourselves, and make the changes necessary in our own homes and in our own lives, that that will spread throughout our community, throughout the states, okay? And this will ultimately lead to exposure of the corrupt systems that are poisoning us, all right? And this is where I freestyle it now. If you look around every day, I hear more and more about people who are sick, these chronic illnesses, these medications, these surgeries, these cycles that people get stuck in and they're not getting any better. Our neighbors, people that we care about are sick and they are dying because of the food that we eat, but we don't hear anything about that. Donald Trump supposedly gets shot in the ear and the fucking internet blows up. But you try and share something about the food that we feed our children and it doesn't get pushed out. This is a problem. All right. Our families, our communities, our nation is dying. The food that we eat, the air that we breathe, the furniture that we sit on, the clothes that we wear, almost everything in the grocery store is loaded with chemicals that dull your mind. 
that make you sick. These chemicals that are not even allowed in other countries are being sold to us Americans to eat, to consume, to put into our bodies. And you know why? Because when you are dull and distracted, you're easier to manipulate and to control. Consume, consume, consume. Good little zombies. Who's going to stand up and take responsibility to help shift this? Because that's what we need. We need leaders. We need warriors to stand up and to be the difference that we need to see, to take charge and lead the way. Who's going to do it? That's what I'm asking. And that's why I'm calling to women to stand up and take responsibility for the nourishment of our nation. All right. And I know it's not as black and white as that. So I'm calling to families. One of you, both of you come together, figure out how you're going to get the food, how you're going to prepare the food, who's going to get it, who's going to prepare it, who's going to educate themselves to make those changes for their family. And who's going to just keep turning a blind eye and poisoning yourselves and your children. It's just something to think about.